So a couple decades after Maxwell derived that the electromagnetic field could make a wave, people started to see it in experiments. If they made a really strong spark in one setup, they would see a disturbance in another setup far away. And they didn't do it exactly like this, but here is a rough analogy to what they did. Here we have an oscilloscope that can detect brief pulses of voltage in this wire loop. So just like we think of with Faraday's law of induction, if the magnetic field flux changes in here, we should get an EMF induced and we should measure it. So what we're going to do is spark the Wimshurst machine and see if it does anything. So you can see a nice flat signal and spark it up. So that should have triggered the scope and you should see a nice little pulses, probably a big chaotic mess. You could say this isn't radiation. It's right there, the magnetic field. It's just essentially a DC magnetic field. So let's get farther away. So I'm going to uh, zero this and let's go a little bit farther out to here and spark it again. See if we still get anything. And sure enough, there it goes again. All right, let me zero it again. And I'm going to make it a little bit more sensitive. We're going to go as far as we can. So I'm going to turn it down to 200 millivolts, bring the level down to about 250, 200 or 300 millivolts, zero it out. And fortunately, we have a big lecture hall. I'll go so far away that surely we are seeing a wave. Let's see, let's go way up here. Back here where the lower end of the grade distribution sits. And this is about as far as I can get and still see you. So here we go. And sure enough, there we have sparks all the way across the room. Too far for some DC effect, this must be waves. You could take the 60 megahertz of the scope and calculate the wavelength to confirm that we really are multiple wavelengths away. But let's not do that.